Hello guys, welcome to another JavaScript tutorial for beginners. In this lesson, we are going to learn about classes. That is the class syntax, constructors, getters and setters, methods, etc. But first, let's define a class. A class is a template for creating an object. This will get clearer as we start making use of classes. So, let's talk about the class syntax. To create a class in JavaScript, we use the class keyword. And then you give the class a name. In this case, let me call it user. And then the curly braces. This is the class syntax. There's another way we can do this. Let me comment this out. We can have a class as an expression. So let me say const user to be equal to class and then call it braces. So this is another way we can create a class in JavaScript. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to stick to this syntax. Now that we have a class, which we said is a template for creating a, an object, how do we create an object of user? To do that, we make use of the new keyword. Let's see that in action. So I can come down here and say const user. You can call this anything, but I think it makes sense to call it user. To be equal to, we say new, and then the class name, user, with the parenthesis. So we have created an object of user. In other words, an instance of user. Let's do console.log of type of user to see what that gives us. I will save and run the code so we have an object. We can go ahead to create as many different users as we want using the user class. But for that to be clearer, let's talk about constructors first. So what is a constructor? A constructor is a class method that is called automatically when we create an instance of that class. To write a constructor, we just say constructor and then just that. By the way, a method often refers to a, a function that is inside a class. So for example, this is a function that is inside the user class, but this is a special function that uses this keyword constructor. And like I said, it gets called automatically the moment we create an instance of this class using the new keyword, as we just saw. In constructor, you can do things like initialization, the things you want to run first before other methods in that class executes, for example. And the constructor, just like other methods, can take parameters. Let's um, have a parameter called name here, right? And inside here, we can set name property for user using this dot name to be equal to name that is passed. To distinguish the two, let me use underscore. So this refers to the property of the user class, the underscore name. Why this is the parameter that is going to be passed when we create an instance of the of user. To demonstrate this, let's create an instance like we have done before, but with a little difference. Let's say user one to be equal to new user. This time, because of the constructor that takes an argument, we are going to pass the name argument. Let's say John Doe. Save that. By the way, it is not it is not a must that a constructor should take argument. If we have a constructor that has no argument, so there's no need passing anything there. So I'll return this back. Let me do a console.log of user. Let's see what is inside user. User one, the object we just created. Save that and run the code. So we see that user. This object is of type user, of course, and then it has this property name and the value John Doe. 
and like I mentioned before, we can create different users or different objects using the same class. Let me have another user. Let me call this um, Lucy. I don't know whatever name. This time I'm going to output both user one and user two. Save and run the code. You can see that this is our first user and this is a different user. Both of them created using the same template. That is the user class. Let's talk about getters and setters using the keywords get and set. With a getter, we have a method that runs when we access the property. We have this property name. Let's write a getter for it. We say get, let's call it um, name. And here we just return this dot name i will save that come down here and delete all this we say dot name using the getter notice that this is not a function call we are accessing the property the same way we have we could have done using this um, underscore name if i save and run the code you can see that we get the output which is the name of the user but why do we need this when we can do something like this user dot underscore name if i save and run the code we get the same output the reason we can need this is that we can come here and have some other logic before we finally return that value for example let's say const uh, name to to upper case to be equal to this dot name dot to upper case and do whatever i want to do finally i can return that the difference is now clear that if i use the underscore name i'm not going to get this upper case of the username let me save and run of course we get john doe but when i use the getter user1.name and run the code we get the result in uppercase so we have this function that runs each time we want to access the property name for the getter we use the key for the setter i mean we use the keyword set and let's set the name this is going to expect an argument let's call that name here we say this dot underscore underscore name to be equal to name i will save the code to demonstrate the use case i will come down here and say user one dot name to be equal to lucy this is basically changing the name so we use this to update something in the object i will save the code and run we see that the name is now lucy Wu, and of course the uppercase is coming from the from the getter so we can come up here and replace this with our setter that we just implemented so this is referring to the setter for the name property i will save and run the code save and run the code we still get the same result but take note that with this the constructor is going to call the set name let me show you i'm going to remove the setter call down there and come here and say console.log called set name so we are not making use of the setter anywhere but the constructor is going to invoke it at that point save and run the code you notice that called set name is printed out here before we get the result that is coming from this guy let's talk about other class methods that is aside the constructor and the getter and setter as we have seen so far a class can have any method we want to have for example let me create a method called greetings 
you will notice that this is not a getter there's no get keyword and this is not a setter there's no set keyword and of course it is not a constructor constructor is a keyword here i just want to return a string hello i will save that unlike the getter and setter using the get and set keyword in this case we are going to call this as a function what that means is that i'm going to come down here let me remove this and i'm going to say greetings if i do greetings like this this is going to be a function it's not going to return that value right instead i can do greetings as a function call i will save and run the code and we get hello uh, by the way let, let me remove this guy here let's do something different here i'm going to say get name and here i'm just going to copy the same thing i have for the getter for name and come down here and paste it so i just copied everything inside here if i come down here and say get name save the code and run it this is going to give us exactly what the getter gave us but the difference is that this is a method call in a similar way we can do set name and let's just copy exactly what we have for this setter here come down here and say name and then this dot name to be equal to that then i'll come down here and say user one dot set name but this is going to be a function call so let's see if i save that and run the code we get lucy so we get name and set name we have accomplished something similar to what we did with the get and set keyword but the difference at least so far is that this is a function call why in the other cases we just assign the properties straight up like this so far so good guys please hit the like button and subscribe thank you as you do so before we wrap things up let's quickly look at the key points we said that we have different syntaxes for creating a class in javascript you can use the class keyword and then you give the class a name or like we have seen before const user to be equal to class this will give us similar result but this is a function this is an expression syntax and then we said that the constructor is invoked automatically when we create an instance of that class that is when we create an object of the class a class is a template for creating an object according to our definition so here we are creating object and we can create multiple objects using the same class like we can have user one user two etc etc as many as we want right and each one of them can have different value so for example here for the first one i have john doe for the second one uh, let's say it is empty and here i'm changing the name to lucy Wu. then we talked about getter and setter using the get and set keyword for adding extra logic when we want to access or uh, mutate or change data in the in the class or in the object and then we said we can have whatever um, methods we want to have inside the class for example the get name and set name as we have seen so far by the way this can be called anything it is not a must that it has to be named because it is working on the name property so you can call this anything you want but it makes sense to call it get name and set name because that's what they are doing all right guys so this wraps it up for this lesson i hope it makes sense until next time happy coding